Are carbon composition resistors totally outdated or are they useful even today? In this video, I'm going to take a dive into their construction and their properties and see how they are invaluable, even in today's high-tech electronics environment. Carbon composition or composite resistors are one of the oldest types of resistor. They've been used for many years, since the early days of radios. The resistors are available even today as leaded components and the power ratings available are often between about a quarter of a watt and two or maybe even five watts. Tolerance figures are often five, 10 or 20% and back in the heyday of these resistors, 20% components were by far the most common. Resistance values of a few ohms up to a mega ohm and more are available. So what are they like inside? If we break into a resistor, we see that there's a central core and an outer protective coating. The core is made of carbon that's held together with a ceramic binding agent, the composition proportions being one of the major determining factors for the resistance, along with the dimensions, of course. The cylindrical core has a cap added to each end to which the leads are connected. Then the whole resistor assembly is coated with an insulative coating to act as physical protection. Despite the protective coating, moisture can often enter the resistive core and this can change the resistance and this is why these resistors are very sensitive to humidity and moisture. Even today, there are some advantages to carbon composition resistors. In view of their construction, they have very little inductance. There's no helical cut in the film or, and there's no wire wound in them. Another advantage is that they can withstand high transient levels, short periods of high overloads, and they perform better in this respect than most other forms of resistor. However, prolonged exposure to heat and excessive power causes changes in the rod that lead to non-reversible resistance changes. Those taken from vintage radios can show really major changes in resistance and even modern versions are subject to this. These resistors also produce high levels of noise, which is similar in many respects to the semiconductor shock noise. They should most certainly not be used in any circuit where noise levels are important. And of course, there's the change due to moisture ingress. Despite the fact that carbon composition resistors are often written off as old technology, they are still used in some areas. They can be used in circuits where the resistor may need to withstand high transients, power supplies and various flyback circuits, in fact, anything with spikes and transients. They are also used in areas where a resistor with low inductance is needed, as in some RF circuits. They may also be used by some vintage radio enthusiasts to replace old carbon composition resistors. But even many of these people may use more modern metal, metal film varieties because of the long-term reliability. So despite the limitations of carbon composition resistors, they are still used in a number of modern design areas. If you need any more information, head over to the description and please, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.